If you are curious to discover why Vietnam become one of the go-to destination for crafting construction materials and interior design products, this video is for you. Get ready to discover the reasons why Vietnam is one of the top manufacturing players for producing ceramics, pottery, and even porcelain products. Ceramic tiles are actually Vietnam's most popular ceramic product, and Vietnam is the fifth largest ceramic tile producer worldwide. With a growing industry of around 14% per year, with an estimated reach to 10 billion US dollars of worth goods by 2028, countries like Taiwan, Japan, and the US are major exporting markets for Vietnam ceramics products. So before we get into the video, I am Guillaume from move to asia We are a sourcing company helping foreign buyers to find reliable sources in Vietnam. Our team of sourcing agents are located in southern Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City. We can help you by doing sourcing missions, so finding the right manufacturer for your need, going for factory checks, so doing quality control and due diligence to make sure that you are working with the right partner and finally helping you on the logistic side of things to send your goods to your home country. If you want to learn more about our services, check below in the description. You will get our website and direct contact to send us your information. Famous brands such as Big La Sera and Min Long are actually some of the most active players in this ceramic industry. If you wonder how to get started and how to start sourcing such ceramic products in Vietnam, in this video, we'll be uncovering why you should consider Vietnam among China, some of the manufacturing zones that you can go to find on the ground such manufacturers in Vietnam, as well as disclaimer and things that you must be aware before starting manufacturing your ceramic products in Vietnam. Let's get into it. So before we talk about how can you successfully find reliable suppliers or manufacturers of ceramic, pottery, and porcelain products in Vietnam, let's talk about the main differences that you have between manufacturing such products in China and in Vietnam. These countries have their own unique strengths, advantages, and disadvantages. So first about the labor and production. Vietnam has a talented workforce that keeps costs competitive while still delivering top-notch quality. Nevertheless, as Vietnam-made products will be mostly handmade and China is using machinery for the big-scale market, the final cost will usually be higher in Vietnam. Secondly, quality-wise, as China is using a lot of machinery, they will be more sensitive to detail and can avoid imperfection while the handmade products from Vietnam will be less accurate and can take longer lead time. Third, about the volume, Chinese manufacturers can probably be more flexible on the initial MOQ. In Vietnam, the norm seems to be between 500 to 1000 MOQ for mid-size manufacturers. In terms of capacity and scalability, China is obviously any doubt a manufacturing power, but tariffs cut advantages may favor Vietnam. Trade agreements like EVFTA have boosted Vietnam's export with a nice and more accessible policies for import tariffs. There are no special regulations for importing ceramic products from Vietnam to the US. You only have to pay a VAT and other import duties. For comparison, in a wood industry, it requires to get a certificate that provides proof of origin of wood, and this is not the case for most ceramic and pottery products, which is the processes for imports. Fifth and last comparison, in terms of favorable business environment and governmental policies, both Vietnam and China have their strengths. Vietnam pro-business policies and commitment to foreign investment make it a welcoming destination. Tax incentive and streamlined regulations strengthen its appeal, supporting a conductive atmosphere for manufacturers. So now you have a clearer understanding about the main differences that exist between manufacturing in China and in Vietnam. Let's now talk about some of the top five product ideas that you can do in this product category. 
The first one is everything linked to ceramics. Vietnam ceramics and tile industry combine skill, craftsmanship, and ancient methods with contemporary designs giving life to ceramics and tile that transform spaces. Manufacturing outdoor and gardening ceramic or cement plant for pots and planters are some of the ideas you can consider. Now the second product idea that you can make in Vietnam is construction, material and tiles. You have bricks, floor tiles, roof tiles and pipes. And in Vietnam, you can actually source high quality ceramic tiles for exporting markets such like the US or Europe. The third product idea that can be done in Vietnam, it's about pottery. You can think about some of the consumer goods such as kitchen pottery with plates, spoon, fork, glasses, mug, cups or container. And you can also find those consumer goods in bathroom with items like toilet, sinks, tub, or even decorative accessories such as vase, trays, picture handles, or candle holders that are some of the best product ideas for potteries that you can make in Vietnam. Fourth product ID that you may have seen if you travel to Vietnam is stone and marble items. Vietnam has strength in garnet and maple as their ability to export these items. With a diverse range of materials from pristine white marble to vibrant colored stones. And that allow a diversity of local artisans to create a big array of products from statues and sculpture to articultural items. Fifth and last product ideas that can be done in this industry is related to furniture. It can be indoor or outdoor carved cement pieces to modern design. You find a lot of different styles for furniture in Vietnam. So now you could think about some of the products ideas that can be done in Vietnam. Let's now discuss about what you should know and some of the disclaimer before you get started. The first thing that you must be aware is quality matters. And that is the primary concern associated with importing ceramics and pottery from Vietnam. Engaging with the wrong supplier may put you at risk because you may receive a product that you won't fit with your expectation and quality. And you may have scratches or pit hole for ceramics. To overcome this tricky challenge, you may have to have a physical presence in Vietnam to conduct on-site product inspections during the production phases. Prior to shipping, you may also go through a very in-depth inspection of the merchandise to prevent any potential damages during the transit. Also, make sure that you are choosing the right in term with your logistic partner and insurance options so you are covered if anything happens during the transport. So hopefully now you are aware about two of the main challenges that you can find along the way. Let's give an example to showcase the long-lasting history of Vietnamese manufacturers in this industry. Let's put the spotlight on Viglacera, which is one of the Southeast Asia biggest producer of tile and building materials. With a network of six tile factories spread across Vietnam country, they have the ability to manufacture around 35 million square meters of top quality ceramics and porcelain tiles each year. You must also know that some of the most international brands that are selling made in Vietnam ceramic, they actually don't own their manufacturing plants. They will work with a subcontractor here in Vietnam, and this subcontractor will work with different suppliers and local manufacturers to provide the goods fitting with the client's expectation. So if you wish to start distributing such ceramic products worldwide, you can consider contacting different manufacturers in Vietnam, provide them your specification and MOQ and see if they can deliver your product. Now in Vietnam, you have some manufacturing regions that are popular to manufacture such ceramic and pottery products. Let's talk about some of them. Like wood production in Southern Vietnam, ceramic production is concentrated in different key areas. So you can start to narrow down and try to find local 
suppliers in those following regions. The first region, it's Binh Nhung. This region is the pottery capital of Vietnam. In Binh Nhung, nearly 400 independent pottery producers export over 50 million US dollar worth of ceramic products each year. It's located just north of Ho Chi Minh City at about an hour drive from the airport. The second region that you can consider is Dong Nai, and they are a thriving ceramic industrial sector that produces millions of pottery and ceramics yearly. This province is located in southern Vietnam on the east of Ho Chi Minh City. They cannot fulfill the same standard of ceramics and the same level that can be done in Binh Nhung, but they are still able to provide lower production costs. Now the third region that has to be under your spotlight is Ho Chi Minh City. This is the largest city in Vietnam that has the high concentration of industrial factories and pottery producers. There are a few hundred of ceramic production factories located in the city and in surrounding districts. So hopefully now you have a better understanding about the ceramic and pottery market here in Vietnam. If you wish to come to Vietnam to source such product, there are a few things that you can consider. Today I'm attending at the Viet Build Expo in southern Vietnam in District 12, so it's a bit far from the downtown, but in this type of fair, you may be able to connect and engage conversation with different manufacturers in this industry. Then you can also look for sourcing agents, and if you wish to get help on the ground from someone who is based in Ho Chi Minh City, you can drop us your inquiries, send us your product specification, MOQ, and any other details, we can look around and do a sourcing service to find the right manufacturer that will be fitting to your product idea. So if you wish to get such assistance from our sourcing team, you can check below in the description. You will get our link to our website and then all the information to reach us. If you have any question, any matters you would like to discuss about, go below in the comment section and drop us your questions and my team will answer them first. If you enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye. Pin down and I'ma get it right. Get on sight like.